friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on October 15th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Looking here, latest earthquake, a 5.1 earthquake in Panama at a 10 kilometer depth. Now this was south of Panama, but we also saw another 4.5 here in California today, in Tres Picos, California, 4.7 at a nine kilometer depth. And that's after the 4.5 Pleasant Hill, California this morning. So stay aware, prepared folks. These earthquakes are happening. Now I expected the uptick in Alaska and it's happening. And same with the San Andreas fault line. Look at the numbers here in the Dominican as well. Here with a 2.6 in Ohio, Madison, Ohio, at a five kilometer depth. Now, could the new Madrid fault zone be waking up? That would be very interesting if it was. Just look at these minor earthquakes over the last few days 2.6 in Ohio, 2.5 there in, it looks like Virginia, and then. Texas as well with a 2.7 so this right here is the new Madrid fault line connecting eventually probably to the San Andreas in the Long Valley caldera now is this all moving up into Alaska I do believe so I think we're going to have a large earthquake over the next little while we're expecting a six possibly even a seven I talked about this early in uh, today's video. We haven't seen a six or a seven for a while. Now I want to show you here Pacific Disaster Center. Quite a few storms and tornadoes and high winds all being reported across the northern hemisphere from Alabama to Germany, Italy, uh, Western England, Japan, Malaysia, Malaysia, Peru. Things are really ramping up on our planet when it comes to jet streams and active weather. Just look at all of these storm warnings just today. Across the world, we are living in a busy world. And extreme weather, I swear, is going to up, is about to get a lot worse. Looking here, 5.1. South of Panama. Pacific Disaster Center here. Now, something else I wanted to show you, where the earthquakes were, one in Missouri. And then over here in New York, or sorry, Ohio, there's a fault line that goes right through Lake Ontario and underneath New York City, believe it or not. That's part of the new Madrid. So I wanted to show you here the last the three days. For satellite imagery. Now just have a look at this as we put this into motion. So across the northern hemisphere, you can clearly see very large lows, low pressure systems. One massive low pressure system over Russia. And what I'm noticing here is a new pattern, new jet stream pattern. All of the equatorial moisture used to go this way, east, right about this level. At the equator and all the cool air would come down from the north heading west. But now what I'm noticing is a new pattern. As the storms are moving east, they're curving up and into the Atlantic Ocean. That's why we're seeing the large lows that are developing across Canada. 
Now, I think Canada is gonna is about to see the brunt of a grand solar minimum this winter. We've been talking about it on my channel for months now. 2019 is going to be a wicked winter. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family from around the world. As we're watching these things drastically change. Like here we have a tropical storm that has just come up. Tropical Storm 20 off the coast of Africa. It's just newly formed, so no, no name yet. And we also have another tropical storm developing, which I talked about earlier. The west coast of Mexico. But where I'm noticing the most significant and drastic changes are in the jet streams and in the strength and the velocity, velocity of the low pressure systems in the Northern Hemisphere. This is what I've been talking about for two years and it's happening. It's a little bit freaky, but we cannot fear, fear nothing but fear itself. It is happening. And these drastic changes have gripped the world by storm and they're blaming global warming. But what if we're actually global cooling? Looking at null school here, uh, winds at 10,000 feet and higher for the Northern Hemisphere. You can see the reds those high winds are starting to pick up polar vortex setting into place for the for the winter time now look at the southern hemisphere compared to the northern it is a massive difference it should be a little bit but the way the oblonged wobble of the southern hemisphere has been going around the south pole Something is pulling at us. Something is pulling at the South Pole and the North Pole. Not sure what it is. But I'd really like to find out. Is this cyclical? Or is something really affecting our planet? Something so big that the government has to hide it. Welcome to the Grand Solar Minimum. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.